fine day five. We are in St. Thomas. The oh, U.S. We're falling in on the World Cup. Well, but anyway. We have to be. We have to be at our meeting place at 7:45. We are going on a full day sailing and snorkeling excursion. <laughs> hmm. There she is, our transport for today. Ain't she lovely? Woohoo! And we are off on a sailing and snorkeling adventure here on St. Thomas. So we are. It's very pretty out here this morning. Mm. As the sun rises here on the island of St. Thomas, we head out for a snorkeling excursion. Snorkeling. I've never been snorkeling in the ocean. I've only been snorkeling in a pool. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can already tell. This day is shaping up to be something really pretty. I see a waterfall. 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 Mm. So we're all gathered here on Beck Island. If you take a look at the water down there, it's very clear. Like a, I, I don't even know what kind of color to blue to call that either. But we're um, we're here on Beck Island. We got to see some sea turtles. They're they were very nicely sized sea turtles, and we got to swim over a reef. A lot of wildlife, sea wildlife everywhere. Honeymoon Cove, perfect place to eat lunch. Now you can either go in on the dinghy over there, or you can jump in and swim, which is what my mermaid wife is about to do. Of course she's swimming in because uh, I've got her hat and the camera and towels and stuff. That's all right, though. It's lovely here. That was fun. I want to do it again. Apparently, I need a sleep shaver. Well, let's go get something to eat, shall we? A barbecue lunch on Honeymoon Beach. Okay. Okay, I am loving these different plants. Look at these hangy flower thingies and then I love mimosa trees and you know the little seed pods I always take out and pick them open look at the size of these look 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 at the size of these and the seeds inside that's amazing oh yeah this is what's known as water island population of about 200 just neighboring St. Thomas, the island. As you can see, my wife is splashing over there on the side. And uh, this is our hangout for the next hour and a half or so. Yep, time to hit that beautifully blue Caribbean water. Look at, look down at the water, it's like clear. It's pretty clear right now. I'm gonna say it's about three feet where I'm at. It's pretty clear. I mean, you can see straight down from about even maybe 10 feet. Oh, at least. It was really cool. I was way out there, kind of where the snorkelers were, and there was a stingray just sitting there. There's a turtle over there, but I didn't swim over there to see it. Hello. <laughs> it is gorgeous here. Okay, so I swam from the ship all the way out over there to that beach and all the way back. My husband took the dinghy, but he was protecting the stuff, so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a great day so far. It's beautiful out here. Thank you again to everybody who made this possible. Yes, yes. Agreed, agreed. So now we're having a cannonball contest. Sunburn. Yeah. 
<laughs> so they've given us Caribbean painkillers. <laughs> Cheers to a great day so far in St. Thomas. Gorgeous out here. Can you see anything wrong with that picture while they're driving over there? Go ahead. I'll, 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 um, I'll let you. I'll let you just take that in for a minute. Give up. They're driving on the wrong side of the road. We are on the sky rise, Paradise Point. There's our lovely ship. It's like five minutes to spare. Hopefully we'll make it back with five minutes to spare, yes. It is 3.17 right now, the boat leaves at four. So hopefully we make it back in time, because if we don't, that won't hey, be we'll good. we'll have to live here for a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Lovely, lovely view from the top of Paradise Point here on St. Thomas. It's gorgeous. What do you think? It's fabulous. We gotta be at the ship at 3.30 and we're leaving at 4. We Let, gotta go. Let's go. We bid adieu. Thank you so much for your hospitality, the U.S. Virgin Islands of St. Thomas and St. John. We love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for an absolutely wonderful, sunburnt-filled day. Totally worth it, though. All right, another day at sea coming up, and then we're off to Castaway Key, but this is a beautiful place to visit. If you guys have a chance to do this Disney cruise that we're doing, which is St. Martin, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Castaway Key, I highly recommend it, especially when it's clear it's a beautiful, beautiful, day, beautiful day in the Caribbean. Okay, so you see that over there? That is, that is how we know that the Disney Fantasy, because okay, so we were backed in to the port of St. Thomas. We were in the front like this, and then when we pulled out, she pulled out like this, went backwards, literally spins on a dime, and now we're going forward. But that is how she was able to do that. She must have pushed water it's, out that it's, way. It's the same jets that were developed for the Alvin, actually. I remember this now. When they, um, the ship that houses the Alvin, Atlantis, was one of the first ships to develop that, and they do have directional jets, basically. And so they can um, jet, so if they're here at the dock, they can get away from the docks completely sideways and turn however they want um, and spin however they want, basically. And the, the captain of that ship, I remember him saying, it's actually really hard to learn to do it because you have to think in reverse. But, uh, yeah, the Disney Fantasy can do that. Nope. Well, it's the biggest and largest ship of the Disney fleet, the Disney Cruise Line fleet, I would imagine it can have the opportunity to come to the U.S. Virgin Islands, I highly recommend you do so. They are U.S. territory. It, it is just something that is just amazing. The water's soft. Take it from a mermaid, she knows. You'll get sunburned, so bring plenty of sunscreen. Totally worth it.